All right, in today's video, we're going to go over MongoDB um, database clone slash copy slash dump, whatever you want to name it. Unlike other tools like Compass, which is a desktop solution, um, with MongoDB Atlas, your database is stored on MongoDB server. With the Compass, it is stored on your computer and Therefore, all the files for the database are located on the same machine. With MongoDB Atlas, everything is located on the server and you not necessarily have an easy access to those database files. For that, uh, we will need a common line database tools. All the links are gonna be down in the description below. We're gonna download this. I'm on Windows. Obviously, if you're using different operating system, just choose that. And if you click on these three dots and open up the documentation, not only you can see the documentation for all of the commands that it's it providing, we're only gonna use two, um, two of those, which is Mongo Dump and Mongo Restore. Um, you can also explore the other ones if you're interested, if you have like somewhat unique use case that I'm not covering in this video. And also we have the installation in the left-hand menu for Linux, for Mac OS, and for Windows. So if you don't know how to install, which I'm gonna walk you through right now, but if for some reason you need to maybe refer someone to this documentation or at a later day you wanna just have this handy for yourself, um, you can just uh, bookmark this. Anyway, uh, this link is gonna be in the description. You can or you can just copy the URL and go straight here, uh, download the tools. And this is how the tools are gonna be, um, are, are gonna look like after you extract them. So they're, they're, they're gonna be, at least for Windows, there will be in a zip format. You extract that, then you're gonna see this structure. It's gonna be a folder with this structure in here. And we're interested in bin folder. Inside of bin folder, we have a bunch of commands that I just showed you. Uh, we're gonna be using only a dump and restore today, but this is not all. This is just um, at the beginning. Basically, in order to get these tools, these commands to work, you need to add them to your environment, environment variables. And the, how you can do that? Well, you type in the search, environment and there you have it edit the system environment variables you open that up you click on environment variables and down at the bottom here you have system variables you need to find the path which is going to be located in the left uh, column under variable and you click edit so i already added my path for these tools but what you're going to do essentially is just click a new and copy the path to this bin folder. Again, you need to copy the path to the bin folder, not the folder that you extracted those files in, but actual bin folder. Copy the path to that, hit new, add that path, click OK. That's it. Um, you may need to, I'm gonna delete mine because I already, this is the duplicate, I already have one on top. Uh, you may need to restart your CMD or whatever PowerShell you're using in order for these commands to work. If you start typing Mongo dump and you see, and you hit enter and you see error saying that Mongo dump is, dump is not recognized or whatever, then you may need to restart your computer. But after that, for sure, it's it should be working if you if you've done everything correct. Okay, anyway, let's move on. Uh, we're gonna use these two commands. You can find them, uh, the, the links to these you can find in the description below, but also inside of documentation. Again, if you click on that, you can have uh, these open in a left-hand menu here. Mongo store, Mongo dump, or Mongo restore rather. So um, let's look at some clusters that I created here. Uh, I created two projects for this specific test. And one project is test export and the other one test export two. So test export is the one we're located in. It has only one cluster, which is a MongoDB free cluster. You click browse collection and you have two sample databases in here. They are 
set up just for test purpose. They have no meaning really. Um, sample DB1 has cars and dealerships inside of it. Um, sample DB2 has products and users inside of it. Let's say uh, we need we need to clone one database or even the entire cluster into a different environment. It could be a different Atlas account. It can be um, a different project like in our case today. And let's say you need to copy entire cluster, like all of these databases. Let's say it's not a problem if we have two, but what if we have, we can copy one by one, but if, what if we have like 10 databases that we need to move over to a different cluster? So MongoDub can help us with that. Um, MongoDub takes um, certain flags and one of them is URI. And inside of this URI, you need to specify the your connection URL to your cluster. So you go to your um, project, you hit connect on your cluster, choose compass and copy this string down here and insert it into your terminal. You will need to modify the password here. Mine is just admin admin. And in order to copy the entire cluster, that's all you need. If you hit enter, you'll get this warning message, but then after that, it will start dumping your entire cluster. So you see sample DB2 and sample DB, it's copying, it is copying every collection. So now inside of this location here, disk C, blah, 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 whatever that might be different for you, uh, we're gonna have a dump folder. Let me find that it's usually at the bottom here. So we have a dump folder and we have both of our databases with all its collections inside of it. Sample DB and sample DB2 products, users and cars and dealerships. So obviously uh, this is the BSON format that MongoDB uses. Uh, you can probably find a tool for your computer to open this uh, the proper way, or you can maybe find an online tool that you can copy your database or collection over to that tool and it will just display you those collections properly. Um, in my case, I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna open it in my VS code. Obviously the formatting is bad, but uh, it, it's fine. It's just because you cannot open it properly. It doesn't mean that this is somewhat broken. So we can see the name, it's Jones dealership, location one, two, three, main street. So this is just for demonstration purpose. It's it's working, we copied our database, it's on our local machine now, not in the Atlas cluster or Atlas server. So now, um, another question, how can we just copy a specific collection? Let's say we have 10 databases, but we only want to migrate one of them. We don't wanna get all of them down. Um, we just wanna grab one and copy and whatever, like restore that database in a different cluster. So we need uh, the same command, mongo dump. Then we provide the URI of the cluster that we just copied. Uh, it's frozen on my end. Let me just refresh everything. Of course, it's always like this. When you recording the video, something stopped working all of a sudden. There we go. So we have collections. Let's say we want sample DB2 and we wanna move that elsewhere or we just simply want to retain a copy on our machine. Uh, we're gonna specify the same command. We're gonna provide the same URI to this cluster that we wanna copy this database from. And there's another flag you can use. It's a DB flag, and you can specify the name of the database that you wanna copy over. Let's say sample DB2. Now, uh, before I do that, let me just delete this dump folder. And if we specify the DB flag with the database name inside of it, then it should copy only that database that we specified. So let's open up the dump. And as you can see, now we just copied only one specific database. So same goes for a specific collection. Let's say you, just want to move one collection or you want to add a certain collection to your different project, different database, whatnot, um, you can do so again with MongoDB dump. And if you search inside of this documentation for MongoDB dump, well, first of all, you can search for database. It's right there. 
it just have a description of what it does and how it does. Uh, then down below you have a collection flag. So specifying the database name and the collection flag, essentially the collection name, you will be able to copy just that particular collection. And same goes for the restore. If we open up the restore, you'll see the same thing. Basically, we can restore the entire database or we can restore the collection. So let's say we have a database inside of different project and we just wanna grab, let's say users or products or whatever from a different database and move it over to, to the new one or to the other one. That's how you would do it, right? You are just gonna dump one collection from a specific database of a specific cluster and you're gonna restore it inside of a specific collection, inside of a specific database. Um, but for now, we're just gonna work with this one, uh, test export two. Let me showcase this to you. If we go and hit browse, browse collection, it's an empty one. Again, for demonstration purposes, we're gonna click connect. We're gonna go compass, grab this link again. This is um, this is by the way a different project and a different cluster, and so the connection link is obviously different from the one that we copied before. And now with Mongo Restore, we will specify this link. Uh, we uh, we're gonna paste it over here. We don't need to put any. any quotes, um, we just, um, I haven't actually tested, maybe maybe you can put it in the quotes, but I'm not 100% sure. It was working for me this way as well. Uh, and then we specify as a third argument, we specify the name of the folder we wanna grab our dump from. For me, it's just the same folder inside of this uh, path. It's a dump folder, right? So I have uh, what I have inside of that dump folder now. I have just a sample DB with products and users. So if you do that and you hit enter, this should start restoring your database. Well, in this case, it failed. Did not connect to the server. Oh, I know why, because I haven't changed the password. So it's admin. The user is admin and the password for that user is admin as well. So let's hit enter one more time. Oh, this time I didn't, did I? Oh yeah, I did specify the dump, okay. I didn't see it because the password length has changed and this moved over to a, a, a different line and I didn't catch that. Anyway, so we restored that. Now we can browse the collection and we see this sample database. So the products, chocolate, KitKat, and user, whatever the user is. So now if we look into the test export project and we browse the collection there and we go sample DB2, we have the same database here. The chocolate is KitKat, the users, this, John. So essentially these two databases are the same. And this is how you copy the database inside of MongoDB. Again, you can go into documentation for um, Mongo Restore, Mongo Dump, and you can, if you have a unique use case, you can probably look for the answer inside of documentation here. But this is essentially in a nutshell how you copy one database or one collection over to another one. Uh, you can copy it to a different database or you can copy it to a different cluster, different project. So it doesn't really matter where you copy it to. So it doesn't have a specific string attached to one or the other environment. So you just dump the entire cluster or a specific database or a specific collection. And then you can go anywhere else as long as, as that is MongoDB um, Atlas project, you can dump it in there. I hope this was helpful because I struggled with this at first, I needed to copy the database from development environment into a production. And I wasn't 100% aware of how we do this here. I thought that it would be somewhat easy in the UI. And I, I, I really think that this should be in the UI. 
but unfortunately it's not as easy and i mean it is easy once you know how to do this but when you are completely unaware of how it is what it is then yeah <laughs> it's a little bit on the difficult side i guess it's not as simply clicking the button in the ui anyway enough of that that's it for this video we'll see you in the next one